Canadians know the story of John Baker. Born in the late 18th century, Baker fought for the British Army in the War of 1812 and later in the Battle of Waterloo against Napoleon. He's also believed to be one of the last people in this country born into slavery. It's not part of our uh, historical narrative of Canada that um, Black people were enslaved. This York University professor says there were more than 600 Black people enslaved in what was known as Upper Canada around the late 1700s brought by European settlers fleeing the chaos of the American Revolution. That's how Baker's family ended up in present-day Cornwall, Ontario, likely made to farm the land before gaining their freedom in 1804 after their owner's death. Something that's often been downplayed is that, you know, slavery wasn't significant because we didn't have a plantation economy. But we have to think about how enslavement was adaptable to the environment. It's an uncomfortable truth researchers in eastern Ontario are trying to highlight in upcoming exhibits featuring Baker's story. It's a story that's not told. I grew up in this area. I never knew any of the stories or even that there were black people in this uh, in this area. So here we have the waistcoat that is made with the right colors. Brent Whitford is curator at the Cornwall Community Museum and Baker's nephew, five generations removed. Making that connection was quite a revelation for us. It actually wasn't so long ago that that was still an active part of our family identity. Historians say Baker's story is just one of enslaved Canadians that deserve to be told and recognized for their work in building this country. Nicole Williams, CBC News.